Hey man, what do you do? What's good with y'all boys? YouTube, it is your boy Stacks Reacts and I'm back with another banger video. Today we have a very highly requested video which has been requested on my channel for almost three or four months now. We have Eric B and Rakeem paid in full. Now I know if I'm a person, I want all my money up front. So hey, I'm already getting the gist of this song. If y'all have any more requests, leave them down below in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because I know you don't want to miss any of my banger uploads. And I'm also sorry that my hair does look crazy. I did just get through doing a Limp Bizkit reaction which really made me you know take my hat off and everything just go crazy so once again apologize let's go ahead and get straight into the video man being honest y'all i really feel like i'm getting way more comfortable behind the camera now i just thought that was something i would say it's just a lot you know easier just to flow through stuff but besides the point let's do it this is a journey into sound This is a journey into sound. <laughs> a journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimension, new value. That's real. When all is ready, I throw this switch. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Ooh, come on. God, this mother, this beat is crazy. You make me feel so good. <laughs> I know it. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin from our on the spot passport. Oh my gosh. The music just turns me on. <laughs> Thinking of a master plan. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent. So I just deep up, still coming up with lint. So I Ooh. start my mission, leave my residence. Thinking how could I get some dead presidents? I need money. I used to be a stick up kid. So I think of all the devious things I did. Ain't nothing like you want to go out and have a good time and you digging your money or you check your bank account and you ain't got no money. But, I mean, you have complete control over your situations. You can go out there, you can get a job, you can hustle, or you can sit down and be broke. Each one is going to hurt, but one of them is going to benefit you more than the other one, which is you getting up and at least trying to go get you some money. got to pray on it, and you got to put action towards your prayer and everything. He said he used to be a stick-up kid, but he said he wants to find another way to get money. So I salute him for trying to get out of his situation. Let's keep the song rolling. The devious things I did. I used hey. to roll up, this is a hole up Ain't nothing funny, stop smiling You still don't nothing move but the money But now I learn <laughs> to earn cause I'm righteous I feel great, so maybe I might just search for a nine to five If I strive, then maybe I'll stay alive Come So on. I walk up the street, whistling this Feeling out of place, cause man do I miss A pen and a paper, a stereo, a taper Me and Eric being a nice big plate of fist Which is my favorite dish But without no money, it's still a wish Come on. Cause I don't like to dream about getting paid So I dig into the books of the rhymes that I made mm. So now to just see if I got pulled Hit the studio, cause I'm paid in full. Full, 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 full. One, two, three, ah! My George! Hey, 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 Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Oh, wait a minute, you better talk to my mother. So I'm guessing that was Rakim right there. So is Eric B the one that's on the um the one that's on the turntables? Man, that was fire. So 
basically what I took from this song is that, like he said, he dug into his pocket. He ain't had no money. He tried to dig deeper. All he had was pocket lens. It gotta be a very frustrating and depressing moment right there. Then he flips to say that, you know, I'm gonna go get a nine to five and I'm gonna walk up whistling this rhyme right here, getting paid in full. There's nothing wrong with working a nine to five. But like I said, everybody has different paths in life. Just because you work a nine to five doesn't mean you're caught up in the system. As long as you make, you know, good money, you're sustainable, you can take care of yourself and you take care of your family. That's really what matters the most. Taking care of the people around you is what matters, but you know, being a lazy bum and not taking care of your kids, stuff like that. Hey, that type of stuff right there. You just got to throw it out the window. Then he goes to say he's making money from the pen and pad. So now he's paid in full. He goes to the studio. He raps about his lifestyle. And now he was able to completely hit the 360 with his life. Hey, man, I really love this song right here. This song right here, when he was talking about digging it to his pockets and having lent, that was literally me two years ago when I was working a job I hated for two years. Didn't get a raise in two years and got, you know, let off on something stupid. But that moment right there, after that, I got me a good construction job. Then, you know, I elevated again, got a job at Lowe's, and now I work at another place, which has been the best job I've had since I've been in the city that I'm in. Here I am being vulnerable with y'all. So that right there took me back to that. So then during that time, I only had around like maybe 300 or 400 subscribers, but I hadn't uploaded a video in like four months. So I started back doing YouTube, Climb my way back up, got monetized and everything. And now here we are at 13,000, almost 13,000 subscribers. And I'm getting paid to do what I love. It might not be as much as I want it to be, but I know one day that I'll be able to wake up and just do this full time. So that song right there connects me with me in that aspect of you know my past life and me getting up and making the change instead of being lazy because I had the wrong people around me and I wasn't making the best choices and I wasn't focused. Now my girlfriend, who I'm not with anymore at the moment, but um, she really helped me refocus on everything that really matters, which was school, doing my YouTube reactions, and just being a better person in general, which I always salute her for that, for sure. No matter what path we take in life, always gonna love her for that, for real. But thank y'all so much. Sorry for getting a little bit too vulnerable. If it was too much, just let me know. Um, this video was amazing, bro. It really was. It makes me feel a little bit emotional, can't lie. But it's also groovy. You got that groove to it. Make you want to have some fun. Hey, it's been your boy Stacks Reacts. Hope y'all had a great day. I'm out of here. Peace.